and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I decided to actually do an Arts and Crafts video, um, which is a little bit overdue. Uh, what I did was I went to my local toy shop yesterday and I picked up this in the sale. Um, it's a DIY your own piggy bank. It was originally $7.99 and I picked it up for £4 in the sale, so I thought that was a bit of a bargain. Um, I'm basically going to do it and then review it. Um, yeah, so let's see how this gets on. Oh, and I thought I'd quickly uh, just put in. Um, I'm literally only going to be using the products that are in here, so I'm not going to use any of my own paints or paintbrushes or anything like that. Um, the only thing which I will be doing is at the end of the video, um, hopefully it dries quickly, um, I'm going to be putting a layer of glittery Mod Podge over the top just to um, seal it in and secure the paint from chipping off and stuff. Um, do excuse the camera angle, it was the best I could do. <laughs> okay, so... Okay, so there are some instructions in the back, but not that they're necessary. So, first impressions. Um, seems pretty cute. Uh, very girly. Not much colour. Paint tubes. The pig is very, very little. Um, I think if I was paying £8 for this, I would be very um, gutted, to say the least. Um, but overall it seems to be a good quality pig. <laughs> um, there is a very much colour uh, choice wise in regards to paint. Literally got two shades of pink, standard pig colour, yellow and a purple. So I'm not really sure how I'm going to use those yet. I have no idea what I'm going to do. I'm literally just going to go into this and do it. Uh, there's a purple and a silver glitter glue. And then... Again, I'm not really sure how this would tie in, but a couple sticker sheets. Um, there was only one other option in this pack to choose from. Um, it was literally a pig or an owl, and the owl looked really, really difficult. Um, the age on this is actually 8 plus, so not too bad, really. Um, but I did think it looked a little bit too difficult for a video and then there's the paintbrush I'm going to be working with so <laughs> what to do with my piggy oh gosh um, <laughs> this is what they show on the picture this Pretty cool, but I can't see the stickers staying stuck for very long. Or this. Yeah, so I'm not really sure these paints are gonna last very long. So let's open them up and have a look what they're like. Oh, they're quite full actually. They're full right to the brim. The yellow seems a bit watery. They seem quite thick. Um, yeah, it seems alright. They we might be able to get on. Ah. Oh. I forgot water. Right, okay, so let's go on with painting this thing. I think I'm gonna start with a light pink for the body. I'm just gonna go over the whole thing with a light pink. Um first impressions. Okay, so I don't know how this is gonna work because as you can see it's not taking very well the, like the paint isn't taking very well to the pig I feel like you would need like a thicker paint or you're gonna need more than one coat over this so I'm gonna end up having to paint it go over it again and I honestly don't think there's enough paint I don't want to have to like as I say I, I mean for the video I will literally just use these products as a review um, but after this video, if I have to repaint it and go over it, then I will. Okay. 
Okay, so as you can see, I've done one whole layer uh, coat of that baby pink over the pig and it hasn't taken very well at all. I seriously do think that we're going to need more than one coat and I don't know if there's enough pink. To be fair, there might be enough to do one more layer um, but we're going to have to wait for this to dry. Um, so yeah, we'll give that a few minutes to dry. Okay, so the first layer is actually dry. Now as you can see, um, most products, once the paint has dried, it um, you lose a lot of the streaks, but actually you haven't lost any of them streaks at all. Overall, I just don't think this is going to be the right paint for this product. Um, I don't know. I feel like you would have needed a much thicker paint for this. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do the second coat um, and get this laid up and see if it looks any better. Okay, so second coat's on. Overall, in the natural lighting, this actually does look a lot better with the second coat on. Um, I mean, the only thing I would say is that I'm really not sure how we're going to overcome this streakiness. It's just the way that the paint isn't really sticking to the product. Um, poor little piggy's going to be so streaky. Um, so yeah, I'm not really sure. So again, we're going to have to wait for this coat to dry and then we'll come back and see what it looks like. Okay, so coat number two, dry. It's taking on average about five minutes for the paint to dry between each layer. Um, what I'm finding is that the colour's building up quite nicely, um, but it's still really really streaky I don't know if you can really tell yeah see how it looks really blotchy um, and that is with me putting quite generous coats on you can also see how shiny oh whoopsie you can also see how shiny this is coming out um, so yeah right on to the third coat Actually, this paint is going a bit further than I thought it was going to go. Um, so, as I said, this is the third coat. Okay. So, um, I've actually lost count. I think that was the third coat. So, now dry. Basically, the more coats of paint that are going on, the better the build-up, the less streaky that it is. It is still quite streaky overall. Um, but, I think we've got enough paint in there to do one last coat. Um, so that's what we're going to do, um, and we're going to see how that comes out. So that's the final coat done. Um, overall, I'm really happy with how less streaky this looks. Um, 
I'm going to give this one time to thoroughly dry and then I'm going to come back and get on with the uh, final details, finer details. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to leave Miss Peggy here to dry out thoroughly. What I have literally just decided to quickly do um, whilst I'm waiting for her to dry is I've decided to use a couple of these stickers and I'm going to put them on her like bit just here by her tail so I'm going to choose a love heart because what my fault is the paint's wet so hopefully they'll stick on while the paint's drying so I've gone with a love heart um, we'll go with a flower and I'll go with a purple love heart. Okay, so these stickers aren't actually sticky at all, like they're generally not sticking, so I'm going to have to or I have just added a little bit of paint to the back of that um, so yeah that's literally what I've just gone with um, so yeah now I'm actually going to leave it to dry okay so final coat is dry Miss Piggy is actually very very shiny she looks very wet but she's not she's bone dry um, but she is very very shiny Okay, um, also, streaky wise, um, I think after many coats, <laughs> she's not streaky now. Um, I've noticed that the inside of her ears didn't take very well. Um, I don't know where the paint went from there, but yeah, I'm literally going to touch that up now. Um, I've decided to use the purple colour for the inside of her ears because I also need to um, fill in her eyes where I've accidentally gone over those with the pink so yeah I'm going to use a small brush to do that this is the brush that actually came in the kit so I'm going to touch in her eyes Okay, so I've done these eyes. I'm now also going to do the inside of the nostrils. And these snout. I think that's what it's called. Snout. Okay, so I think they're going to need more than one coat. So I'm going to. Where did the sticker go? Where did that go? It was a little flower, wasn't it? Oh, we'll replace it. Okay, so I have noticed these little flowers, um, little flowers, these little stickers. They have absolutely no stick to them at all. So what I've done is I've had to put a little bit of paint on the back of each of them or the back of the ones that I've stuck on to actually allow them to stick on. Hopefully that sticks now. So I've done that. Oh, let's see. Okay, so The inside of the ears, I'm going to use the glue, uh, the glitter glue, and hopefully that has a nice thickness to it. I feel like I might have to build up the layers, so. Okay, so the build up of that glue is very, very thick. Um, I feel like that might take a long time to dry, um, but I actually quite like that. I feel like that'll add a nice little texture. Um, so 
So yeah, I'm going to put the next layer of the purple in the eyes and in the nostrils. Okay, so now that those finishing touches are dry, um, I'm going to do one last thing. I'm going to use the dark pink to colour in Mrs Piggy's tail, um, just to add a little bit of colour, because um, I feel like it needs to stand out. All of her assets need to be defined. So, I think that may have just been one paint layer too many, um, only for the simple reason is, you now can't see any of the actual original lining which was in there to define her tail, um, and I think it now just looks like a pink circle on the end of her body. So, off camera, basically what I did was... Um, I added a layer of sparkly Mod Podge, um, I let that dry, I had to wait for the pig to properly be dry before I could do that, um, and then I had to wait all night for that to dry, um, as it was still wet before I went to sleep. Um, overall this is a good little kit, I mean I would have paid £8 for it which was the original price but I'm happy that I paid four. Um, after lots of coats you can tell it's not quite that streaky but it still is patchy in areas um, it is super 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 shiny as you can tell um, but yeah overall not that bad really oh I got a bit of my tissue paper stuck to the bottom so yeah the stickers stayed on quite well after I put the paint on but yeah they didn't have any stick at all so yeah thanks for watching guys um, my next video will be um, actually it's going to be a surprise but it's basically going to involve hot glue gun and pom poms so yeah watch out for that video um, thanks for watching hit like subscribe if you're not already and yeah thanks for watching bye